scientists can switch on cells in this mouse's brain simply by switching on a light. The light activates nerve cells which make the animal walk in circles. This neat trick is also a powerful new tool. Using light to control the behaviour of cells is teaching us about everything from how we wake up to how we learn. This is optogenetics. It all started with algae. In 2002, researchers discovered that a protein that causes green algae to swim towards or away from light is a light-sensitive channel. Blue light causes the channel to open, and positive ions then flood into the cell, much like the influx of ions that cause nerve cells to fire. Neuroscientists were quick to see the potential of these algal proteins. They realised that if they could get proteins called channel rhodopsins to work in mammalian nerve cells, they'd have a very precise way of controlling nerve activity in the brain. For many applications, this method would be better than drugs, which act too slowly, and better than electrical stimulation of the brain, which is less precise. Getting an algal protein into, for example, a mouse brain, requires a bit of genetic engineering. First, you take the gene that encodes the protein, plus another piece of DNA called a promoter, and you put them in a virus. When the virus is injected into the mouse's brain, it infects neurons and delivers the gene. A chosen subset of those neurons will have the right machinery to activate the promoter, and in those cells, the algal protein is expressed in the cell membrane. To activate the protein, all you need is light, delivered via a fibre optic cable. It's the ability to target specific neurons in living, moving animals that makes this technique so powerful. And channel rhodopsins are not the only proteins in the optogenetics toolkit. In this fly, a different light-sensitive system is used to target just two out of 200,000 neurons. These neurons govern an escape response, the reflex that makes the fly flee as you move in to swat it. Here, a flash of light activates the neurons, making the fly jump and spread its wings. It can't take off because it's trapped in a petri dish. As well as activating neurons with light, scientists wanted to be able to silence them. Switching neurons off is just a case of using a different light-sensitive protein, such as halorhodopsin, and a different colour of light. Watch how this worm's workout is interrupted when a yellow light is switched on. The light activates halorhodopsin, triggering a flood of negative ions which inhibit the worm's motor neurons and stop it swimming. And neuroscientists aren't the only ones using optogenetics. As well as turning neurons on or off, a diversity of tools allow researchers to control many different processes in living animals and in cells in dishes. These mouse heart cells have been engineered to beat in time to pulses of light. And here, a light-sensitive protein makes this skin cell move towards a laser. The applications are endless. Researchers have already used light to transform the stumbling of rats with Parkinson's disease into a steady walk and show which nerve cells fire when a sleeping mouse wakes. Optogenetics is shining light on everything from animal behaviour to the interactions of proteins inside cells. That's why Nature Methods has selected optogenetics as its method of the year 2010.